France is sending an urgent mission request. Specifically at the beginning we will have open, um, uh, very open um, regions and then we will go into the interior of the UFO. The difference between the other missions is we do have a time counter once we uh, approach uh, once we approach the UFO. So it's certainly not um, it's certainly not a mission where we can just lay back and the three recruits are really worthwhile uh, getting. I think that one here is still okayish. If we move up here, it will begin to trigger. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm on the move. Moving out. If that's what you want. Good. There should be a couple of mutants at the beginning here. Yeah, and thin men, I remember. We'll keep his rockets still. Make sure that we hold on with this. And we want to feed the newbies a couple of kills, of course. Let's train the mind uh, fray anyways. It is 100% chance of hitting. He'll be down to 1 HP. I could kill him with a grenade if I so desire. Um, welcome to the chat, Gnomic Gem. Um, Well, that is not the. Uh, we are not playing XCOM 2 so far. That's uh, uh, that is XCOM 1. Uh, so the remake, of course, of uh, the very original game. And it's debatable whether or not it captures the original flair. What it certainly does is it is a very um, deep strategic game with a lot of um, knowledge and with many many options to uh, to improve your gameplay. And they certainly have achieved that. Good, so that's the trigger that we uh, that I was uh, earlier speaking about. We now have 12 rounds exactly, and the aliens won't um, stop. So they will keep uh, keep on coming. There will be some from from the uh, from the left hand side. You need to be a little bit careful there, just to trigger, uh, just to not trigger them right away. This one, this here could already trigger. This supposedly will not trigger. There is no alien which we have triggered so far, so moving into full uh, into the open is not a problem at the moment because uh, they can't just 
shoot at, uh, at us yet. Still try to keep a couple of overworld shots going. Not too many double moves. Good. There we go. Annette, I'm a little bit disappointed in you. Whenever it comes to reaction shots, she's the one to miss uh, them. That is really a shame. So she has uh, quite a decent movement, so it's okay for her to to quote-unquote fall behind. But what we still want to do is I want to keep the guys moving, so I trigger the overwatch shot of him with my lightning reflexes. And Annette can, can take a shot, but she can still move at the same time. So don't want to waste any movement here. Really want to be efficient on this one. So, she literally can go here, also take some cover, maybe even have better shots at him. Gosh, she's bad at aiming. Shouldn't jinx it. I shouldn't jinx it. Okay, so this guy already moved, but I am not going to shoot with him right away. Just want to see if I'm triggering something else as well. No. Uh, so this side is clear and we are uh, going to use this. Uh, this is uh, the entrance for the UFO. Um, Let's move up with the other guys, take our single movement turns before we go. Keep in mind we still have the ghost grenade, so in case um, these guys would have a problem, I could just uh, make them invisible and we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't be too concerned. So, he'll take the shots. I still have the sniper as a cover. Um, Moving into the AO. We are even behind the drop so far, so that means we are faster than what the game would think uh, uh, would think about our supposed position, which is good. So he has two shots, and I'm quite interested in taking both of them, just to be efficient. That could be one option. The other one could be to move up the guys and uh, just take down this um, Berserker with my sniper. So maybe let's take one shot. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't want to use the double tap. Oh, unfortunate. Well. In his panic, he used the second shot. We'll use, uh, we'll lose his uh, next round. Really? All right. So the panic is real. So there are some more thin men. I'm not so worried about them, to be honest. Um, they can't really hurt the mech uh, just all too much. Um, don't really want to go in here because I am afraid I'm, I could trigger another pack. Um, he couldn't move up here with a single action, so that would be a double action, a double move. But I'll retain my, um, I'll still retain my position and and my Overwatch with these guys. Okay, we do have our sniper to take care about the guys on the roof. Move 
moving to a better perspective. Okay. Let's see. It looks like the abductees are still alive, but we're not out of Well, we have plenty of time left. From Annette's description, that has to be the command console. If we're going to save the captives, we'll need to either move in and disable the system or destroy it with explosives. <laughs> we could even destroy it right right now. That is funny. We are well ahead of the mission. Target has been neutralized. Okay, moving out. I don't trust in Annette's aiming capabilities. Let's pull her back in case that uh, Thin Man drops down here. So there's one. Before we now mindlessly charge after them. Let's move in first. Getting it done. I hope you thought this through. up out there we've got hostiles on the move so two more thin men are alive like this is number one They're moving around the side. you missed there's uh, another one. Oh, and the berserker So the Berserker could drop down here. There now. Eyes on target. Let's look for our sniper. He should have a, uh, a straight line of sight. That's good. Seventeen, and he can even double tap. So the only part, uh, the only thing which is currently not working out is that we don't have line of on sight on this guy. Um, but I'm not so concerned about this. I'll I'll use a ghost grenade. So I can play offensive uh, uh, this round. No need to ask twice. So the other thin man is down there. I think it's right here. Like this would still poison me. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. We would also 
still have our mech. Maybe let's move him in first. He usually doesn't care about poison. And the overwatch shot is also not problematic. that will work out I'll just reload so he doesn't take any shots and becomes visible afterwards he is done and let's make sure that the berserker is running into the right direction That is unfortunate. This guy has has a has a double tap, but he has no no potential target. So he needs to disable the flight and spend his actions else elsewhere. Really. Okay, let's maybe get into the main menu and reload. Uh, that should fix it. He still has a theoretically. He still has like this um, this extra shot from double tap. It seems the game does not recognize that there is no option, no valid no valid target for him. What is he supposed to do? There is no target. Hmm. Are you serious? Can't reload either. Well, ah, I forgot about end turn. Yeah, I could just end the turn. There we go. console with explosives is a surefire way to make sure it'll be out of commission for good. You still have six more rounds. Uh, we don't need the Berserker. So I'm not going to Taser it. And by the way, with regards to the poison earlier, just realize um, that your uh, that the Titan armor is granting full immunity against poison. So I could have just moved him down here as well. Okay, let's try the flight again. Rock 
Good job, Bonnet. Good job. So, and that should be it. Excellent work out there, Commander. We're reading zeros across the board on that device. Looks like you managed to stop the termination sequence. Objectives updated. All we need to do now is secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles. Rolling out. Which shouldn't be too much of a hustle. Because all that's left, in my opinion, are a couple of sectoid commanders, and that's about it. Okay, that didn't trigger anything. Perfect. Let's move our guys up and then do a standard entrance uh, entry here. No need to ask twice. Affirmative, Commander. Hang in there. You'll be fine. We're green to go. Overwatch. Aye, aye. All right. All right. I suppose they are down there. I'm on my way. Nope. Interesting. Heading to that location. I'm not aware that we left out any of the drops. I think we killed all of them. Let's just make sure that I'm not missing out on anything here. No, we aren't. Hmm. That's annoying. Probably That's one of the drops got stuck at the site, and we are now going to look for it. On the move. Let's do this. Like it can't be in the front section really because we have killed everything there. There's just no one here. Maybe back here. I remember usually there are multiple drops and we only had one thin man dropping there. Or here, because uh, I mentioned earlier that I was afraid we might trigger a peck. Let's go there as well. I'll keep my guys together. Um, timing wise, there is not much difference between running six guys around in, in, in one place or taking multiple. Um, Ambassador, it is indeed still the same run started on Sunday. We are now in month number six and uh, we still have zero casualties, uh, zero missions lost, and zero uh, countries lost. So it is, uh, I would say, going reasonably well. Yeah. I think that's a fair statement. Keep me hey. Wow, there's this, uh, there's the last pick I was talking about. Thank you, dear Thin Man, for putting up a fight. By reconsidering it, I haven't um, caught a single Thin Man so far, so I think what uh, could be a plausible idea is to at least catch one of them. The 
Position confirmed. Okay, so much for the Thin Man. Let's try to let him approach us. So he will be surprised when we are now just disappearing. I'm using my second Ghost Grenade because I'm quite sure that's the last guy on this whole map. And let's make sure that we haven't accidentally taken uh, the wrong weapon for overwatch. He will overwatch with his pistol to not kill this guy. The rest will just hunger down. He should come to us now because he's a curious little bugger. How? With a pistol? Are you shitting me? The odds were against us on this one and we still managed to pull through. The three remaining captives have been secured and if we're lucky may just have found some new recruits for XCOM. Okay, um, Ambassador, I'm going to answer your questions in a second. I just want to officially tell the game, fuck you. Because I was in, in the air uh, with a pistol and he literally super sniped him uh, via the whole map. This is unreal. Okay, so now with regards to your questions. Um, the difficulty curve in, on Impossible is even stiffer than on Classic. So at the beginning you got uh, you got uh, pretty much shit on all the time. Uh, the uh, st standard alien is, you know, the uh, Sectoid has um, more hit points than you, a better aim. Uh, they are having more. Uh, they are having advantages in numbers and better um, and better uh, skills all the time. So, in a sense. Uh, you are completely uh, on on the on the lower or on the receiving end. Plus, if you don't want to lose any countries, and I explained that earlier to Barak, if you don't want to lose any countries, you end up investing everything in satellites. So your your guys will be total bullshit for a longer period. So, let's. Finally takes squad side, and this guy also is taking some levels. I enjoy it. We will be in touch, Commander. So with the new soldiers, we just received these three nice fresh recruits, and I happen to know that all three of them are uh, psychically active. We have another uh, assault. Which is a little bit of a shame, but she has quite uh, nice ve uh, ve um, willpower and aim, so we might as well take her into the, the squad once she's tested. We do have another support, which is unfortunate because um, Annette is already a support and I'm usually not willing to run it with two supports, we need one heavy, but we do have a sniper and that's uh, really good. So, once these guys are out of the lab, we start to test the three and then take them on the missions. We now have all of the research projects that are worthwhile. At the moment in time we are simply researching because we can. Like, none of this really makes any significant difference. Let's um, improve the pistols a last time. All of the others are... Uh, yeah, they aren't really needed like we also have all of the items that we that we already uh, that we need So, Psy testing. View the results. Surprisingly enough, none of them were gifted. 
What is going to change now? I have the distinct feeling that these three candidates could pose valuable for us. Okay. Also in terms of medals, let's shortly think it through. We need to take a net anyways uh, in uh, onto the next uh, missions. And I do still have the psychic medals like these here, um, which would increase her willpower. And there is another one which I would like to give uh, to her because she would increase aim and will at the same time. Maybe I'm giving this to the sniper, the medal of honor. It's really nice. But I'll award this one to um, to Annette. So she can buff up the whole squad just by having this medal. Her will is mediocre, so I'm not going to waste this one on her. Let's and that one is also not for her. Okay. Um. Four more days, then our firestorms are ready. Looking forward for that. And there is the overseer. Of course, we unfortunately, uh, it will. I do have the feeling it will escape again, uh, because we are not fast enough. So tracking, yes. Targeting not necessary, but defense and tracking is necessary. Tracking specifically. Unnecessary. Can't, can't get it. Okay. Let's dismiss a couple of these guys. I need to get rid of them. Okay, so one of the fire uh, firestorms will move to Asia in case uh, we encounter uh, that UFO again. And the other one to Africa. Alright, 